Craziest things happen in America. My neighbor across the street is playing music so loud, I could hear it in my backyard. I know I should snitch. I haven't called the cops, haven't yelled at them, and somehow I'm still alive. I know that it's my duty when something is not going exactly my way and I'm not in complete control that I should snitch. That's what we do now. I mean, if I'm being honest, yeah, it's playing some really good music. But the point is, they didn't ask my permission. They should have thought of me first before having fun and enjoying themselves. There's just lawlessness everywhere. I mean, look, look at the calamity. It's insane. I'm not the hero quarantine deserves. But I am the hero quarantine needs right now. They look six feet apart. No masks. Hell in a handbasket. Look at these hooligans. Absolute hooligans. I mean, what's the worst that can happen if I call the cops on my neighbors? It's not like mundane interactions with authorities ever escalates into violence that irreparably damages entire families for generations. Look at these thugs. They're not six feet apart. They're not wearing masks. Look at them. It's like gangland out here. It's like gang warfare on this block. They're not bothering me. They're not causing me any harm. But how else would they know that I'm the boss? That I'm the one in charge? And that I deserve their respect? Unless I use the government to ruin their day. Maybe take away their resources. Yeah, I know they haven't been working. So maybe I should get them fined. That'll teach them for listening to music. Everybody should have my feelings in mind before doing anything, ever. I feel at risk, I feel in danger. And I'm, I'm not just gonna sit here and take this. It's my duty as a new normal American to act. Karen! You're essential. Maybe I should head to the park, see who needs saving from themselves there. All of the power of privilege, all of the benefit of the doubt of victimhood. I can get used to this. As day turns the night, I remain vigilant, protecting people from themselves. It's a thankless job, and nobody asked me to do it. And yet here I am. I'll find something to be outraged about. It's just a matter of time. All it takes is to get your way once or twice and it just becomes addicting. You want your way all the time. And it doesn't matter if you need to manipulate or gaslight or weaponize people's empathy against them. What's important is that you get your way always. Yeah, that's the new normal. I feel heard, I feel seen, I feel powerful. Mm. Yeah, this is my world. Y'all are just living in it. I like the new normal. I'm embracing it. Hey, that's unauthorized noise making. Not on my block. What was that? Fireworks? We'll contact trace you. You'll be contact traced. Comply. We'll right foot down. Left foot slide. No, no, what are you doing? What are you doing? You can't enjoy this. They didn't ask your permission. Hey, this quarantine is a time of quiet reflection. At least play Post Malone. Six feet apart. You think I'm joking? Six feet apart. And wear your masks. Not on my block. Uh-uh. We don't tolerate proximity crimes around here. These people need to be protected from themselves. I'm going to run for office and I'm going to make laws to protect them and ticket them if they disobey me, but it's for their own good. That's why when I'm elected, I'm gonna ban the three Fs, fireworks, fun, and sarcasm.